Hi friends, the special in-game Bangalore event called the Williams Send-Off released its final part yesterday. I'm going to show you all the parts and explain what they mean because there's lots of hidden lore snippets you might have missed. By the way, even if you're not into the lore, you do still get free loading screens and a free Bangalore themed pack at the end, so it's still worth doing these challenges. Now let me start with the background for what this whole story is about. One day, Bangalore and her brother Jackson were aboard a space ship in the Outlands when something made contact with their ship, ripping the outer hull. Bangalore was about to fall out of the ship, but Jackson sacrificed himself to protect her from falling. Obviously anyone falling out of a ship you would presume dead, but Bangalore always believed her brother to be alive because she thought he had his jump kit with him. Since then it's been her mission to find him, but this has proven unsuccessful. Eventually she ends up teaming with Wraith to find her brother. Now there's a whole story about how Bangalore and Jackson ended up in the Outlands, so go check out my video on Bangalore's full backstory if you want to know how they ended up in the Outlands. Moving on to the William send-off event. So part one starts with Bangalore letting off some steam in the firing range. You have to hit a minimum of 35 targets when the timer ends. It's super easy to do. Once you get through this challenge in the firing range, you get taken to a law snippet. And here Bangalore and Wraith are talking to each other. It turns out Wraith found the report of someone matching Jackson's description. Except he's dead. Of course this makes Bangalore very sad. Unfortunately all of the records of where this person is buried were lost in a fire so they can't even go and pay their respects. Part 2 follows on from this and Bangalore has to do a bow exercise. Now at the start of this challenge you see her holding a scorecard. The scorecard is a challenge between Jackson and Bangalore that they had with each other a long time ago. They were very competitive as siblings. This scorecard had a bunch of challenges and the first one to 100 would be crowned the best William's sibling. Of course on this scorecard one of the challenges was a bow challenge, hence why this challenge is a bow exercise in the firing range. After completing it you get taken to another lore story. It shows different frames of minds between Bangalore and Jackson and it's really important. They're basically talking about their family back in Gridiron which is some 20 years away from the Outlands and you get to see here that Jackson has kind of accepted that they're stuck in the Outlands and might never see their family again. And from this bit of lore you can tell Bangalore still wants to get back to her family in Gridiron, but she won't leave without her brother. And you'll see why that's important later on. Let's move on to part 3. At this point, the supposed loss of Jackson means Bangalore is very sad, and she feels like there's nothing left for her in the Outlands. What remains of her family are on Gridiron, her home planet. She has a deal from Revenant on the table though, and this deal Revenant made to her was essentially to help her get to Gridiron. So as part of this piece of the challenge, once you complete a 2020 smoke challenge in the firing range, you'll get taken to another lore story, with a conversation between Loba and Bangalore. Here, Bangalore is essentially asking Loba for advice on whether she should go home to Gridiron or not. Of course, when Loba finds out that it would be with Revenant, she's not happy. And this is for two reasons. One, Loba hates Revenant and kind of loves Bangalore, so the thought of Bangalore leaving with her worst enemy is kind of painful. Plus, she realises Revenant is trying to find his source code, which Loba sent off to Gridiron many seasons ago. For reference, Revenant wants to die because he's lived too long and he's just fed up. On the flip side, Loba wants Revenant to suffer by living for eternity as punishment for him killing her parents. So you can see why Loba kind of storms out of this not very happy. After this you unlock the final part of the story, and I'll get to that in just a moment because it features Bangalore's William send-off for Jackson. Before I get to that though, you probably want to know what a William send-off actually means. Well, it's what the Bangalore family used to do when a member of their family was going on assignment. Pretty much everyone in the Williams family was from the military, in some form or another. Now the William send-off is essentially a party that would end in lots of family bonding and a bottle cap bracelet which is a strong signal for the Williams family. Now let me leave you with this playthrough of the final cutscene for Bangalore. It's a really sad moment that I feel doesn't need me talking over. Just try and sit back, listen and enjoy because it's Bangalore saying goodbye to her brother. A big warning, it is sad so do try not to cry but I hope you enjoy it. William send-off again, but I figured I should because I'm shipping out, and it's what we do. But there ain't gonna be a song. No dancing, no red velvet cake. 
because this is a funeral, and I don't have the footage from your first send-off to watch, so this I'll have to do. All these years without a family, I never felt lonely, so long as I kept hoping you were out there, brother. Annoying people, knocking their elbows before a shot, making them feel better. Only thing I know is, you belonged out here. Felt you were needed. Felt a way I couldn't. And never will. So, this last one's for you, Jackie. For your last assignment. You don't need to find your way home. Because you're already there. <laughs> 